A new cantilever pole has been added in version 14 of FEA, which allows modelling and reporting of pole bending stresses and overturning moments for cantilever poles with multiple sail attachments. We'll start with the simple dual high palm model, built in end panel, with corner links in each corner. Now the links need to be longer than the total distance the top of the pole will deflect under all load conditions. I've used 250 millimeters in this example. Next we select all the poles and using M panel we convert these to 3D polylines with a reasonable number of vertices. I'll use 11. We need enough to show a smooth bending shape when plotting displaced shapes. We need to make sure the sail links are connected to a vertex and if not then drag the nearest pole vertex to snap to the end of the sail link. We then select all the poles and set the polyline special status to cantilever pole and adjustable link and then set. We get a message confirming the special status has been changed and the model is now ready to be read in. The program settings are model cable edge mesh and we want it to calculate cables, poles and guys with links. So after the model is read in we can see the default values being used are type 1 PVC with a 250mm poles and 8mm edge cables. We'll change the pre-stress to 1 kN per metre, which is sufficient for this fabric type and the nice naturally stiff high pass shape. We have a wind upload of just over 33 kg per square metre. Using the pressure from wind speed calculator, we see this is the pressure from a wind speed of 40 metres per second with a pressure coefficient of 0.35. Now these values are defined by your local building codes. Paste this into line 1 and we're all set to run the solver. The defaults for the solver are a solve tolerance of e to the minus 6 but for these complex models we're going to use e to the minus 3 which is 0.001 which is more than sufficient We'll also set the new outer loop steps to 100. When we run the solver with cantilever poles, we can see the graph showing the dual loop process, which takes more time than the normal fixed node single loop solver. The outer loop allows a small amount of pole top movement, then solves for the new membrane shape, and the process is repeated until we reach a solution, and then save. We solve again for load case 1 and we're prompted to confirm the solver will use load case 0 as the start point for the next solution which is the normal practice as the solution will start with the pole tops bent in with the pre-stress. The solution with the load will take more time so I'll speed up the video. Then we plot out the results as normal, which I did before this video. You can see we can plot the cantilever poles and pole numbers. The displaced shape shows the smoothly bending poles. We now have a new pole stress plot and a bending moment plot, which shows the combined moments for the two sail connections as well as a vector. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact support at mpanel.com.